This gaming laptop has a GTX 1650, which is almost five years old, but it could still get some crazy FPS. Here's how. So I'm just going to be showing you guys all the tweaks and optimizations I've done to this laptop. So the first thing I'm going to be starting off with is just optimizing Fortnite itself. The easiest way to optimize Fortnite is going into the game user settings. To go there, press on Windows and R, type in percent local app data percent, find Fortnite game, press on save, config, Windows client, and then you'll see the game user settings right here. Now next, join my Discord and then go into the optimizations tab. My Discord will be linked in the description. You guys will see the exact game user settings that I'm using for my laptop currently. Go ahead and just download that. And once you have it, just drag and drop game user settings. And you guys also wanna make sure the properties on this is on read only. Now the next thing for Fortnite is in your Epic Games launcher. Now under Fortnite, go into the option setting. The default settings on these is high resolution textures, direct to shaders and disable cosmetic streaming you just want to uncheck these two right here and just press apply and it should be verifying those files now the next thing is under your graphic settings so on the search bar just type in graphic settings make sure to have the hardware accelerated gpu scheduling on now under browse you guys want to go into your program files find the fortnite file click on fortnite game binaries windows 64 you guys will see all these applications for fortnite basically you guys just want to press on the first one where it says fortnite client win 64 and you guys will see fortnite pop up over here and just press options and press on high performance now go back into your file explorer and find back that fortnite client win 64 right click into properties Go into compatibility and you guys want to make sure that disable full screen optimizations is off. Press on apply. You should be good. Now the next things are window settings. Now first up is the NVIDIA control panel. Now under adjust image settings with preview, you guys want to make sure that your preference is all the way at performance. This will make your game look kind of weird. But if you actually are struggling with FPS or just want more FPS, I use performance all the way. The game will look a little bit more blurry, but you will have more FPS. Now under manage 3D settings, you guys want to copy all of these settings right here. I'm going to just scroll so you guys can copy it. Make sure to slow down the video. Just like that. And make sure to have high performance NVIDIA processor on the top. Now under program settings, you guys want to add Fortnite. So just scroll. You should find Fortnite pretty easily right here. Press add selected program. And then you guys want to just press on high performance NVIDIA processor as well. Now next in your search bar, search game mode. Make sure to have game mode on. Now click on Xbox game bar. Make sure to have Xbox game bar off. Now under apps and feature settings, click on startup. You guys will see all these stuff that starts up once you open your PC. Just disabled stuff that you don't use. Like, what the hell is this? You might notice some stuff that you didn't know opens up when you open your PC. So just make sure to have those off. Next is your power options. So if you guys see this battery sign right here, or you guys can just search up power options and you will see edit power plan, create a new power plan, high performance, name it whatever you want. Make sure these are all on never. And there you go. You have a high performance power plan. Basically, it just balances your battery for full performance. It will run down your battery pretty fast, but if you have it charged, you should be good to go. Next, if you have Discord, in your Discord settings, go down to advanced. Make sure to have hardware acceleration off. And the same thing for Chrome. Go into the settings, go into system. Make sure to have hardware acceleration off over here as well. Now we're going to be moving on into tweaks that I've used. All the tweaks you've seen me use, I posted it over here in my Discord optimization section. But the first time that I hit 400 FPS is this FPS pack right here. You guys can click on this video and download the FPS pack. It will be in the description. You're basically just going to get this pack over here. If you open it up, we have registry tweaks, batch optimizations, window optimizations, and the config file if you don't have it already. 
under registry tweaks i suggest you guys use all four over here don't use the fortnite normal priority since we have the high priority of it but just use all four of these registry tweaks right here they're really helpful for Fortnite since it basically just makes Fortnite the main priority. Now under batch optimizations, these are basically just deleting some unnecessary stuff. So we have like delete temporary files. You guys can also do that yourself by going into Windows R again and just doing t percent temp percent bunch of random files right here. Let's do control A delete. And as you guys can see, there is a bunch of stuff, almost 10,000 random files. But you guys can also use this Windows command to delete more temporary files. Under Windows optimizations, we manually just done disable Xbox services. But to optimize all your Windows settings, I suggest just use this optimize all Windows settings. Click on yes and you should be optimizing all your settings this is just another power plan you guys can't test it out but i do use high performance power plan so those are all the stuff that i've used when i first tweaked my laptop i made a video about this over two years ago and it really helped boost my fps so i was playing on all default settings and nothing was optimized at all 